Hi everyone, my name is Eric Mogensen. I'm an instructor and staff trainer here at the Winter Park Ski and Ride School based out of Winter Park Resort. So I've been lucky enough to teach skiing for 12 years now uh, across the world and really enjoy it. For me, teaching skiing and skiing itself is a culture. You meet incredible people with it. Uh, there's incredible athleticism, being in the outdoors, beauty, surrounding. And being able to go ahead and take that culture that I love and pass it on to children all the way up to adults. It's something I'm really passionate about and I get to help people create their own passion. And I give them the tools through being able to ski and ride to move across the mountain in a way that they want to, in a way that's a ton of fun. And before you know it, they're back the next day. Hi, I'm Eric, welcome to Winter Park. And my goal today is to learn how to ski moguls a bit better. My son is a total fireball. He charges down the mountain like nobody's business and he's absolutely fearless. I would like to improve my mogul skills if I feel um, out of control. I can't really control my speed. So it sounds like you want to get to become a little more versatile with your mogul skiing. That's certainly something that we can help you with today. Sounds good. I like awesome. it. Let's do it. There are some skiers who just seem to glide through them, and I am so envious all the time. Mm -hmm. When I see that, that's what I want to be able to do. So, Victoria, we're going to start with skiing uh, a blue mogul run similar to this. Is there like a mathematical way how you ski moguls? So there's a lot of preference. There's just some different routes that you can take. You can go over the top of the mogul, you can go on the side of the mogul, and then you can go in between the mogul. If you're back, yeah. it's really hard to do anything. If you could be really nice and centered in here, yeah. that's where the hands come into play, as opposed to go way back. That's way what, back. yeah. That's like, that's really scary. Yeah, that is. I have a habit of leaning backwards, so I have to, you know, unlearn that habit. Old plant, turn. Good. One of my favorite things about teaching skiing is that when you can find out and help identify what that guest really needs and then build a progression to get them there, usually about halfway through that progression or three quarters through that progression, there's an aha moment. I'm getting it! And it all just clicks and everything makes nice. sense. Nice, next one. And everything comes together. That's what I really love about teaching skiing. Woo! I didn't realize how much I was leaning backward versus when I moved my body forward, the skis just started turning on its on their own and that definitely makes a huge difference. That was awesome! <laughs>